You know, I set out with the season with um, ambitious goals and um, always sort of <laughs> pursue, <laughs> I like to think that I, I pursue ambitious goals but um, most of all we prepared well and we did everything that uh, we could do to do so but my, I was let down by my health. Um, I had a trip to Africa in, uh, early in the season in, um, in, uh, in January, I went to Africa and so on. It seems that I, uh, I picked up some kind of uh, low-level virus there and I didn't, we, didn't, we, we didn't discover this until August. So I raced all year and trained all year with the idea of knowing what I have to do to, and what I need to do to, to be at the top level at races like Tour de France and so on. But um, not knowing I had this uh, underlying uh, illness that was, uh, that was sort of slowing down and compromising. Not so much my performance day to day, but my recovery between the big performances day to day, which really, um, yeah, really and on so many levels uh, affected my, my performance and what I could go and do in results wise. My first goal was to get back to good health and, and, and get back to my best level and then of course go, go for the races that they are always in my program. I follow a similar program to what I've done in the last two, two to three years. Uh, my first big race of the year will be Tirreno Adriatico but um, my, of course my emphasis and my results is really get around the Tour de France and um, <clears throat> working towards that. That's, 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 that's the main goal. If I can get any results before that it's, um, it's always going to, usually nearly always going to help and um, but that's your yeah, number one goal of the year. My bike, I use the, S the BMC SLR. Um, some of the guys choose the aerodynamic bike. Some of the guys said like for the Pave, <clears throat> there's other models that are more suited to the cobbles and so on. But I, I always stick with the SLR. It's more a bit of an all-round frame. It's um, the reason for that being is I I'm never ch I'm never changing at least for my road bike I'm never changing my position it's it's always the same and because it is an around frame it's 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 pretty good on the pave it's good on the bad roads but it's light it's responsive <coughs> climbing sprinting whatever you can it's it, it's a real all round sort of uh, <coughs> tool I suppose in that regard um, mine mine personally. Um, <coughs> I have uh, quite a long and low position, that's also to do with my body shape, but also the fact that um, I have a lot of it, place a lot of importance on time trialling as well, I search to be a bit longer and lower, so it's a less, a, less of a change to make when I transfer over to the time trial bike, and then of course I have little particular um, <coughs> um, aspects of setup and so on, I have mountains of handlebar tape and then cushioning under the under the bar tape for example, just for, uh, just for comfort reasons, and um, and then um, being Australian, I have a right hand front brake, the opposite to everyone else that comes from my father was a motorcyclist for one and two because um, we ride on the left hand side of the road when you have to indicate to turn right for a safety thing but of course after riding like that for 20 years I wasn't going to change when I came to live in Europe so, so I still have that aspect, um, it's sort of one thing that if I have to change bikes for some reason in a race to someone else's bike it's something that I have to be aware of. And um, that's sort of probably probably the, probably the the main personal uh, characteristics of my bike.